Hi, it's James here from the Sprinkle Donut Forge in Moscow, Texas. And uh, this is going to be a short video on a process of uh, doing scroll work. Um, on how to make what's referred to as a half penny scroll or a penny scroll. And uh, what I'm going to do is offset some material and create a little round piece that'll work into my scroll. This can be incorporated into a lot of your ornamental blacksmithing work. And uh, it's something that's uh, good to know. I myself have not tried this, so I've decided to take a piece of quarter inch by three quarter inch flat stock. It's not the mildest of steel, but it's what I've got. And we're going to heat this up, and I'll show you where I understand to begin with this. Alright, we'll see you in a minute. Alright, I'm going to offset a square on the end off the edge of the anvil. Face blow. There. I will heat it up some more and go again and try to round that square out into a little roll. See you in a minute. Alright, let's try to round them corners in. starting to resemble the shape that I'm liking. Now I want to narrow this up just a little bit on back that way I can roll this thing over. I'm going to do just a little bit more rounding to it and make it look a little better and uh, warm it up. See you in a minute. All right let's narrow that up a little bit. See there? I'm going to try to round that just a little bit more and then we'll try to roll this thing in gently see if we can't get a nice little design element. See you in a minute.
maybe it's cool enough where you can see. It's pretty good. So now I'm going to scroll that over and we'll take a look at it. See you in a minute. here we are didn't turn out half bad it's my first time trying this I've understood the concept for quite some time I just haven't had a lot of ornamental projects I needed to use it on I could see this being handy for things like hinges uh, all sorts of stuff sword hilts anyway that's how I pulled it off it wasn't that bad to do really so uh, and I'm gonna clue you in on a little something uh, when I was very young, anytime somebody would fire up a circular saw or a chainsaw or anything that made a loud noise, I would hold my ears and wince. I couldn't stand it. It doesn't bother me now. I work tools all the time. But I did discover something. During forging, I was having a struggle moving metal. So I got a pair of these uh, shooting range ear protection devices here, these earmuffs. And uh, they're actually for firearm use. And I put them on. It deadened out the sound of the hammer hitting the anvil. And all of a sudden it was as if my arm was three times stronger and the metal just moved for me. So it's something to try if you're having a struggle moving your metal. Try protecting your ears. It's not a bad idea anyway if your anvil rings is not properly secured. Or you're using anything that makes a lot of noise. Uh... You ever heard your ears ring afterwards? That's permanent hearing damage. It doesn't come back. Uh, so protect your ears, and you might try it as a little cheat on helping you uh, forge a little better if you're beginning and uh, you're a little gun shy with the hammer. Deaden the sound, and you might just pick it right up. Anyway, there is our little scroll. I hope this decorative element comes in handy for you. If you're a blacksmith, I hope it was entertaining. If you're not a blacksmith, I hope you were all entertained. Anyway, I'm going to clue you in also on my uh, 300 subscriber giveaway is going to be taking place on the 10th of October. I'm going to make a video, and uh, people have been putting their names in the video. It's a rail spike wall hook uh, designed to be used with either 2x72 grinding belts or extension cords, whatever you want to hang on it. I'm going to get it, show it to you. Oh, hey there, forgot about you. Anyway, there it is, made from a rail spike. I'm glad I got to retain the head so you can tell what it was. Uh, you got about two and a quarter, two and three inch clearance down here. That way you can hang two inch belts on it. Uh, that idea came from Curiosity Forge. And I just, I went with it, it was a good idea. Anyway, to win this, the stipulations are you have to uh, subscribe to two channels and comment done on that video where I made this. So look back on my channel and you'll see this is one of the last videos I made before this one. Uh, subscribe to Charming Hollow Forge. Subscribe to Speargrass Forge. The links are in that video. And comment done down below. And your name will be entered into the drawing that will take place on the 10th. And if you win it, I'll send it to you. And the crude little nails I made to hang it with. Anyway, I'm going to do some more of these videos on design elements, and I hope you find them interesting as I find them interesting to do. That's all I have for this evening. Till next time.
ไป